because Bellow can be used from any of the four positions, hits all four positions, bypasses guard, bypasses repost, bypasses stealth, deals high stress, reduces our damage output by 40%, stacks 20% at a time. Uh, he's incredibly good. One of the best PvE characters. Okay, so here we go. We have a full stress team. Full stress. It's about no man, yeah. Does he have knockback? He doesn't. Does he have pull? He doesn't have knockback or pull, at least. So we get to stay where we are. Ulster doesn't matter. We're not trying to hit him. You just trying to mouse over my buffs? <laughs> I'll show you my buffs. Balin, which buff do you want to see? Beyonce and I drank a bit of wine, celebrate getting some job offers. Congrats, Orchestra. Hopefully it pans out. Um, is there a specific one that you're hoping for more than the others, or no, uh, no real preference? The reveling throne demands fortune. Bleeds get nasty every time. Yeah, the thing is, he's also wearing this trinket where you deal additional stress versus bleeding. So it's interesting, as soon as I took off some of our bleed resist, we run into this team. So Hounds, Harry is going to deal stress and bleed on all of us, and Velo is going to deal so much stress against bleeding targets. So. Uh, the downside of this one is we're going to have a lot of spread stress. So I don't know if we'll last 24 against this one. This is a better stress team than the previous one. This is one of the more cookie cutter ones. I get help your career more and the and one offers more money. So if you get have you thought about this? You probably have. If you get offered both of them, which one would you accept? Playing the same game? Yeah, PvP is completely different. It's every single move is rebalanced for PvP. So it's gonna be very, very different than the campaign. What's my strategy? To see how many rounds we can live before we lose. It's a pacifist thing. We're just having fun. Uh, I'll probably do a dancing team to try to win our rank back a little bit. Get Stalwart and everyone heal stress. Yeah, or everyone's courageous. That would be... That would be incredible. Courageous on everyone. Firstly, you know which one your fiance would like you to take. Still have to think on it. So you want you to take the more money. Sorry, Orchestra, I don't mean to pry. You don't have to answer any of that, obviously. Just conversating. Just conversating. So he's just going for stuns with um, the Abomination, which is bad for us. Because, again, we didn't bring stun trinkets this time. Yeah. <laughs> Stalwart heals their own stress. Courageous heals your team's stress. If you're moving to PvP when zero stress, yes, they can. We've tried it. Talking about it? Courageous is an AoE stress heal. Or it heals other stress. Stalwart heals self. Bello, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> One's much further away. And it's the one that offers more money. Bello seems pretty good. Well, the good news this time, at least with uh, Bello, is that him reducing our damage output doesn't matter. <laughs> so we got that going for us. So that, that's nice. That's nice. Thing you should always use, even when you can get kills with other skills, obviously. Man, it's so funny when we were doing the triple repose team and we kept running into stuff like this, and no matter what, 
they would use Hound's Harry every time and just triple repost. <laughs> Persisted. He still had the buff from last round. We're gonna have to try it though. I mean, we could have healed her, but she's gonna have plenty of healing, I think. The knitting housewives. <laughs> Why putting her seconds? Uh, we were running into people pulling. So, we have it in a while, but we might, we might do that. Um, also, we were running into Blight teams quite a bit, but. So she can't use patch up from position two. But it, you just, it just depends on which team you run into. How are you doing, Ashlyn? Welcome in. Bello. Hello. Weekend. <laughs> the I use this decision to make, yeah. Especially if the money difference is huge. Like, it's easy for me as someone on the outside to look at it and be like, think about the future the most, you know? But you also never know what the one that's giving you more is going to offer, not just more money. You might get more opportunity from that that you can't foresee, and that extra money might even give you more opportunity, more leverage moving forward. So they're very hard decisions. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you'll choose the right one, no pressure. No pressure. Good crit heal. Sounds like they're both the right one. It's just you can make whichever one work. If you get if you get both offers, it's going back to stunning because he doesn't want me to heal any more stress. Uh, what all did he take on his occultist? He didn't take the stealth heal. Doesn't have lick wounds either. Still a cough hating? I just don't like coffee. I don't mind if you like coffee or whoever likes coffee, but I just don't like it. Don't like coffee. But hey, that means more coffee for you. The less I drink, the more that's in the world for you. So here, ancestor quotes. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I haven't thought about that in a long time, actually. Hmm. Favorite ancestor quote. I'm guessing things like this don't count, right? It's gonna get this is a little loud, just a warning. Because I flow. Let Jiggy charge on I don't know. No other specific reason for that? No, no specific reason. My wife loves it, but I do not. Snowing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. What Jiggy Jar Jar do? That's right. Many fall in the face of chaos, but did not this one. Not today. To fall for such a small thing, a bite of bread. That one's good too. There's so many that's good. That's why it's hard. That's why it's really hard to have a favorite for me. <laughs> <sighs> so stuns are coming back and bite us again. Good crit heal off the heal over time. Starts after you kill, the heart is always good. Ruin has come to our family. Maybe that's my favorite. The Ruin has come to our family part at the very end of beating the game. The reveling throng demands. May it's a little bit, I'm a little bit biased towards that though, because when I heard that after we completed our world first challenge, it was like nerd chill, goosebumps. I did it. Hey everyone, my name's Cletus. How about some calm bread? Yeah, that one's a pretty good one too. It's a good choice. Good choice. Hey, 
Hey, Phoenix, how's it going? Oh, that was only a 25% chance to resist. Unlucky. Play ancestor quotes that were posted in other subreddits. Get hijacked. Ancestor quotes. Yeah, I've seen that. So I've heard the corn bear Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. You, what's weird about that, Rakes? I was just thinking the other day. I was like, there's something, some kind of recipe I was supposed to post. Was it chili? No, I told Rakes my chili res recipe, and I could not remember at all. That's the one. Cornbread. Why does it make you impartial? It does make sense. Five dollars busted. Paladin. Paladin, thank you for the five hundred bits. Five dollars busted. That one's good too. Shoot, bandage and pillage. The dancing steps of war. They're also good. Make sure to pin it. Should. How you doing, Paladin? Thank you again for the bits. Just a reminder, yeah, probably. Sign off paperwork that when it's been Monday, you'll officially no longer be in probation status at work. You'll be full-fledged teller. Hooray! Congrats, Phoenix. A flagellant Phelan, awash in blood and delusion. He bears the burden of a thousand lifetimes. There's no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Yeah. Those are all good. There's so many good lines. That's why it's so tough. Oh, double crit. Double crit. And our Crusader is stunned this round. So that's unfortunate. So we got a stun on their Hound Master. We can save some stress here. He's just uh, alternating stuns between our two stress healers. This morning. I uh, haven't been able to check uh, Discord really yet, but I will. Uh, we can do that. That's all. Thank you, that's all. You're a grave robber, Robert Al. Uh... Demands Maybe swap them, yeah. Yeah, I can use Buckshot and do that. Since they're not really killing through um, damage anyway. It's just tempting to stress heal on her every time she comes out, but I think we will have to do it. Hey, and Leon, welcome in. How's it going? Pretty well. We're doing um, uh, a pacifist comp tonight. Our community grows. Leon. Thank you for the follow, Leon. Brother Mod is a Vestal, a sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Leon is a bounty hunter. Thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Do, do, do. We don't want her to hit Death's Door. A momentary abatement. She very well could, especially if he does Hound's Rush instead, which he probably should, but he probably won't. So he's gonna go back to stunning our Crusader. Tell you, man, every time I take a certain trinket off, we immediately run into that. Of course, he got his 25% resist. That always works. See, it's kind of uh, risky because if I buckshot her next round to four, we won't be able to stress heal that turn at all. Um, and then our Antiquarian is going to get an affliction. Well, she has a 30% chance to not get afflicted. But, uh, Lawrence, thank you for the follow, Lawrence. Lunar is a flagellant as well. Lunar and Phelan, both awash in blood. Hmm, that makes sense. Poetic, really. Nah, he's just going for Hound's Harry, so. Uh, what's her virtue chance? Alright. Affliction number one. So screwed by stuns. More destructive than screwed by stuns. Cannons. We'll move her back. An obelisk. Obelisk. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. 
the dancing steps of war. So you can do that once an hour. You can also test your virtue in the channel. Uh, it's the same percentage as the game. Test your death blow resist. Same percentages in the game. So she's going to get bellowed to affliction. She has 25% chance of virtue. A powerful route. So we have 25% chance of virtue, same as in the campaign. So most likely not going to happen. Um, but yeah, the reason why we lost this one is just because of the uh, all the stun. So I think I'm going to start her in position 4. Going forward to help a little bit with that. We'll see how that goes. Do not think we're getting to 24 with this one, or past 24. Like I said in the beginning, this is a better stress team than the previous team. Better comp anyway. Route also, or no, you already said yours. I was like, what? Both route and route got powerful. Wow. Uncanny. All right, so she has a uh, 25% chance. Now I get it. The walls close. We're running the stress teams every time, huh? Of conspiracy. Stress teams every time. This last longer is a different comp. I think so. Uh, I guess the comp that's a damage based comp. We have uh, heal over time, AOE heals. We have an AOE heal, multiple targeted heals. But we haven't ran into that yet, so. But I think it would last longer against something like that if we ever run into one. Great, like that. So, uh, there's an hour cooldown on it. So whatever virtue or affliction you get, you have it for an hour. Retest it. Trans sailors versus stress. Um, a couple of them, but the big problem is the multiple are getting stunned every round. So courageous, we got one. Hey, and it's the one I wanted. The of valor shines brightest so. against the of despair. The one I want and we'll see what we can do. We'll start in this position going forward, I think. Man, stun is just really terrible for us. Well, that's not what we wanted to happen. That's for sure. How confused? I think uh, last game, they were very confused. Because at the beginning, on round one, they almost uh, burnt their whole torch. And they could they were hovering over everyone. And they were seeing no damage moves. So they were probably like... I don't know. How do you, minion? Gotten abusive. Might have had to kill Phelan. Didn't, though. So she lived. <laughs> just gets to live. Blows, a, a merciful brain. god, Lunar. A merciful god. Huh, I wonder what he's gonna use. Probably Bellow. Quite. <laughs> we could replace her with, um, Houndmaster. One with Lunar, I can use Dead Blow to kill a Phelan. Yeah, no one at all. No one at all. Is RNG being countered tonight? Uh, not really. Uh, we haven't rolled against really RNG situations as much, though. Uh, mainly, though, like, we haven't been able to stun as often as maybe we should be able to. It's hammer time. How you doing, hammer time? Welcome in. Last night's real, I know. Man, we got the short end of the stick over and over last night, for sure. For sure. Good. Good, 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 good. It's not what I would have chosen, but at least she didn't decide to mace bash someone, I suppose. Paranoid. Mm -hmm. 
So even with the stun resist, her stun resist is still only 45%. It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous. Abusive plus um, a buff still puts her at 45%. So they could literally just stun lock the Antiquarian and take her out of this fight. They could, they could. How's it going, Firehawk? Welcome in. I'm surprised he hasn't transformed to put that horror effect on us also. It's really, really surprising. What team? We're trying to see how long we can last. So we are a pacifist team. We don't attack. We just heal and stress heal and get virtues and see what happens to us. Doing all right, Firehawk. Doing okay. Sicily more attacks. You target third. Oh, then fourth. Yeah, that's true. Is there a rounds limit? Someone said the round limit was 41. I've never gotten there. That's one thing I want to try to do, too. See if we can get to that and see what happens. Uh, but someone mentioned that um, when you get to that point, it just flips a coin to see who wins. So I really want to get there and experience that. Just going to hounds here still. So we're halfway to where we got to last time of this team. 24 as far is as far as we made it so far. I mean, I don't know why it takes us so long to decide on Bello. It's all he's gonna use. It's all he's going to use. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, save us. Ugh. Maybe I will put stun resist on her. I'm going to put her in position three. I mean, the problem is, even with stun resistance, she's still... It's a flip of a coin. It's 50-50 if she gets stunned or not. At least it saves her from being stunned locked, like every single round. Try to do that. Click on standard third day of the release. Yeah. That's a good point. She's almost rid of abusive, which would be nice. Plans, rebound me, do anything. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's like his only move that he can really use. So he's gonna try to get rid of Courageous. He's like, no, Courageous is healing too much stress. Screw that move. Of four. So again, it just doesn't seem like the bleed light debuff resist is doing enough. Especially after we get afflicted. Ooh. And now the true test. Hold well, fast. he might just one with that move. Fire. Luckily, his man at arms can't hit that position, so we do have a chance to heal her off death's door. is a rarity in the fevered picture <sighs> of battle. But he did go for damage instead. Yeah, he's really wanting to get that Courageous out. <laughs> the reveling throne demands its portion. Oh, don't use whatever you're trying to use. Okay. How do you... It goes back and forth, and they select who they want. But you can see what they're highlighting over. Like, now they're highlighting over their Houndmaster, so... 
They can select whoever they want to go first. So we're gonna hit her to death's door. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. So if she gets a, they really want to heart attack her so that courageous stops healing. <sighs> we have to go more than ten more rounds. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Welcome, Murray. Back. Your steadfast loyalty right. is greatly Thank you for the re-sub, Cheese Dog Murray. Uh, four months. Thank you, Murray. Games, there a way to tell when your heroes go versus when the monsters go? Uh, how speed works in the main game is that every time that a round begins, the game rolls a uh, D8 and adds it to the speed of every character, including the enemy. So your speed is whatever your speed stat is, plus anywhere from 1 to 8. And you don't know what that 1 to 8 oh, is. No. So the only way to guarantee someone going before someone else on your team is to have that uh, 8 more sp speed than them. Now, the more speed you have in them up till eight, the more likely they are to go before them. But that's how speed works in the campaign. If he turns act like PvE, where the characters act in a fixed order? No, I don't think so. It takes a lot of the strategy out of the PvP, and it also means that speed based teams that just blow someone up would be even more prominent. Going all right. Thank you, Murray. As life ebbs, hey, Victor, welcome in. We're going on the wall of Flash Run way in Terraria. First playthrough and also playing Master Mode. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So our Musketeer is probably going to die soon. Probably going to die soon. How many times do you think you've died, Victor? It's your very first run ever, you said? The game changes a whole lot after Wall of Flesh, I'm sure you know. A hand's breadth from becoming Boom. unwound. Boom. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. You still stand, fight on, she says. I really want to play some more Terraria. I just don't think it would be good for the stream at the moment because there's so many big streamers doing it, but we'll see. Perched at the very we precipice of oblivion. So the most common thing that screwed our team up is stun. Stun. Oh my god, he used a button other than Bellow. What is the world coming to? What? No. <laughs> For the friend, didn't really like the early game. Just went and gave you like 70, 80 achievements. Kind of lost that sense of wonder. Ah, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. That's what I was trying to tell my daughter about some games too, but she's kind of a little young to understand that too much so uh, she was trying to fill out her pokedex and then she just had someone trade her everything that she didn't have and i was like and she's like now i don't know what to do and i was like yep that's that's the problem with doing that so she's gonna heart attack uh die here We're not careful Use the move other than Bellow. 2020 really is weird. I know. <laughs> it's the first thing he's first time he's used anything other than Bellow. I mean, aside from Bolster on round one. Super achievement manager. Resetting all the terrier achievements. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. First kill on turn 16, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Sure, the Nuzlocke rules. Yeah. She would not like that. She's not going to reset shield anyway, but.
But guys, we've dealt 11 damage. Oh, a little bit more than that. Just through, through stuns. So he's going back to... Well, he's not went away from stunning, so I don't know why I'm saying going back. Three. Fleeches. Parenting manual by Adam. <laughs> That's a lot when it came out. That's kind of cool. Let's give you an idea. Also, I think not really supposed to do it. You should get back banned because you're only removing achievements. Nah, then gotcha. I know the antiquarian was very close to clearing the affliction, but we had to switch gears. Can we last past 24? That's the question. Yeah, stun just, that's the thing that's been screwing our team. Just getting stun locked. That's the big one. Which is kind of poetic justice, I suppose, since we used a stun team the last two nights. And had a really good um, record with it. Such a terrible so now there's a using it. So, this isn't even a stun team, it's just they have something that can stun. The team's not built around stunning, but man, they sure are stunning. They are stunning. Is patient. We would be in much better shape if I had started her in four in the beginning. So, we'll know that moving forward, though. Because the thing is, a stun resist is also basically... Alert. He's getting all these crits, Balanced. too. He's crit uh, two times in a row with Crush, which I think is a 9%. Uh, he has a 15% chance to crit. Stuns you boss. She also clears bleeds. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying too. But I might do that. Are we even less susceptible to pull teams too? Just to train slots? Yeah. Yep, yep. So we go back to stunning her. Here to longest fight. We, this is only our second fight, so so far the record is 24. 24. Tower Shrinkins actually are. <laughs> So they're going back to her. <clears throat> he should attack the Antiquarian. Get two on death's door and we are hurting. He's not doing it. Because I can just get her right back off death's door. Bard, thank you for the host. Thank you, Bard. Do you think... <laughs> I, I wish I knew if they were frustrated or not. Let's see if he gets... No, he's going back to Bello. Back to Bello. The will to fight. Let's see. Let's see if we get three crushes in a row. But... Imagine they'd be frustrated. Maybe. They're probably used to winning on about turn five or six when they do win. We might pass 24 on this one. Maybe. He keeps getting these friggin' crits. He doesn't even have, uh, well, I, I actually can't check. He only has plus 3% crit. So again, a 12% and a 15% crit. We just keep getting eaten by it. I 
I'm taking the guaranteed heal here, unfortunately. Just sitting there. What is your win condition? Have you made a magic deck that's like this where it's just literally there's no win condition? I mean, I guess the initial version of your land eating deck was sort of that way, right? But you still had something that could kill. Deaths you've had probably died around 50 times. 80% of it's from building the runway. <laughs> hey, look! He finally transforms. God, he's getting so lucky with crits, man. But now he can't stun. So that does open a door for us a little bit. Nothing in it that could kill and you play it you with it. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I, I remember not long after you were talking about adding some kind of win condition to it. Win condition is the opponent getting bored and conceded. <laughs> Ooh, good miss there. So is he going to go back to damaging with the man-at-arms then? Or is he going to go straight back to bellowing? Bellow it is. So, oh, magic decks where that was your win condition. I don't remember. What happens when you run out of cards in Magic? Do you start taking damage? Or no? What was that? A healing or stress healing? Yeah. yeah. If you run out of cards in the deck, you lose. Gotcha. You lose instantly if you draw from an empty deck. Thank you. Pizza rolls, cupcakes, and enough drink to last all night. Opponent concedes. <laughs> Unless you get or have a car that says you don't. Gotcha. Gotcha. Perfectly death's door. Turn the wrong one. So you lose, unless you don't. Yeah, unless you have a card that makes you not lose. So what makes you not have to draw from the empty deck and die? Is it like a planeswalker or something, or? Nerds and panic. Nerds and panic, that's what I heard. Nerds and panic. Alright, it says you don't. That's basically every rule of magic. Being the previous record? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Also, get extreme. I don't even think we get unlucky enough to lose at this point. Well, unlucky enough to lose before 24. We need to get one of those other afflictions off, but I just don't see that we us doing that with him using Bellow. Not with her being low. Abusive is really helping them too. There's an enchantment that says you can't lose the game. There's a creature that says you can't. Death creature wins. and a planeswalker. Say if you draw from an empty deck, you win instantly. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Act now.
So have a deck where you have that, and then you also have tons of draw. It's kind of cool. Maximum. Back crit. Insatiable D. 23 months. Tier 3. Why, well, that's the golden sub club. Uh, Insatiable, how you doing? Thank you for the resub. Much love to Insatiable, who has been here forever. That was on turn 24. That's our previous record. So nothing. We just beat our previous record. This is only our second game, though, tonight. We're seeing how many rounds we can last with the pacifist team. Jace. Man, these crits. He doesn't even have a lot of crit chance. We're just getting unlucky. Hey, Insatiable. How's it going? Chase the Flame Walker. The creature is Laboratory Maniac. Bellow, bellow, bellow. Pet and viewers will be released from the simulation, allowing to reside in true reality. Are we just fighting this guy? Uh, I don't think this is the same one. We only fought two people, so I think you're, it's just the same fight. Exposed Sandy, to relatively okay. Come with me. Doing okay. Overall. Same kind of answer, I suppose. We got lucky that she didn't get hit death's door there. How you doing, Kazukin? Welcome in. One off. He would have gotten a death blow check against her. Um, okay, so he's going to try to heart attack the Vestal. He did. <coughs> he did. Got it. We're at 23. Come on. Don't do this. Stuff with souls now? Uh, not the bot souls, but through channel points, yes. Yes, yes. Which are separate. Uh, Twitch doesn't allow me to put the channel... They don't allow anyone to have it integrated with a bot at the moment, so... Injury and despondence. Do, 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 do. Set the stage for heroism. Or cowardice. Yeah, I hope he doesn't crit with the man-at-arms. But he doesn't even need to crit. If he gets her to death's door, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Vaguely remember Jason in that win condition? Since he's top, he can go down to fire. <laughs> Power character stress, get the infliction out and reach 100% again, recover the same infliction, or is it a new roll? It's a new roll. A new roll. Uh, what was our chance at a virtue there? And frailty. Oh, he didn't have Finally it stacked. So that was only a 30% chance at a virtue. Whoops. Whoops. So now three afflictions, one virtue. But yeah, if you get it down to zero, the affliction falls off. And then if they get back to 100, they get to reroll um, and see what they get. So it looks like we're going to pass the... God, he just keeps getting crits, man. He has such a low crit chance. Just really unlucky for us. Um, so we can get her off death's door. Luckily, that crit. Oh, she refused it. So there's his chance to get a kill. Line up, stress, heal is very powerful in this DLC. There's just... The only problem, I think, is that he has too many attacks. <laughs> so if we're trying to be, like, super passive... Uh, what's her current heal? She's at a nine. But yeah, flash is very good, but is a just trolling. We're not trolling. We're just seeing how many rounds we can survive. Twenty-four. We need to survive this round for one more. There goes her second heart. See how many she has. Yeah. <laughs> Fearful. Hmm. Hmm. Crit. 
Core defensive. I know, but his... The one that we would be able to kind of spam... Um, would be the heal over time, and it bleeds himself. So maybe if we pair it with the Arbalist... Injured Suffer, yeah. I know. But... This is only our second game, is this? So I'm acting better? Uh, she's about the same. No. Thank you for asking, though. No. Thank you, Insatiable. Powerful. Paranoid Kazuki. Finn is masochistic. All right. Looks like we're going to go past 24. Okay. We're going back trying to hard attack our back line. Seishul is hopeless. Firehawk is hopeless. <laughs> he should crush her. Let's see if he gets three crits of that. He's, cru he's crit every time a crush. It's a 15% crit chance. 15% chance. Oh! The anti-crit. The anti-crit. Well, she did that on her own. Hey, that's not very pacifist of you, Takrin. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Thanks, mod wife. Hey, an icon. Welcome in. Rapturous. You're a flagellant? Okay, our Crusader is no longer afflicted. Fifteen rounds. It's a pacifist team. We don't attack. Uh, Phoenix, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Phoenix. Expansion, anything worth writing home about? It's just PvP. Just a PvP mode in Insatiable. It's completely separate from the campaign. Different balance. It's completely separate. Be able to see the end of this match, your grandchildren. Troll team. We're literally trying to see what how high rounds we can get. So, someone said that at 41, our goal is to get 41 rounds with a team. But someone was saying at 41, it um, it ends in a, a draw. He will join us or Dark die. Two? Yeah, Master. I agree. Team endurance. Ah, squid. I think we give sub to Kitty for five months. Uh. Paying it forward from Inspector. Thank you, R Squared. Much loved, R Squared. Round 25, a new record. Death, bit, or crash. Well, I want to see if that happens at 41. Round 41. How's he not lost his mind? Maybe he has. Go to the bitter ends. Hey, I once played against the Heart of Darkness for three and a half hours. This is nothing for me. <laughs> He's going back to Bello. This game brings the best out of you. Thanks. Act now. Have our specific challenge? Uh, it was for our Torchless, Deathless, Blood Moon, All Boss, All DLC. All that kind of stuff. Our world first challenge, Phoenix, uh, that we did, we were doing zero deaths, zero light the whole time. And so to get zero deaths on the final boss, I two man the entire encounter. So it was just Crusader Houndmaster against the entire Darkest Dungeon 4 quest. All right, 26, a new record. You can see the challenge is the Exhalation Challenge. Reach round 100. Well, someone's saying it stops at 41. Do you have it on YouTube? I do. Exhalation Challenge. The entire playthrough. We did Blood Moon, all boss, all DLC, uh, zero torchlight, zero deaths. We did all of it before we went to the Darkest Dungeon, and then I two-man the heart. 
Challenge run, Shatter Hound Master, pull it Oh, yeah, I know. Against, yeah, on Dark Stranger 4 fight. Find the IRL stress meter. <laughs> He's going to go after our Vestal. I think we had already had a death if he had not transformed. Or if he had transformed back and started stunning again. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. He's got to be like, oh, come on. They're almost full health again. Back to Bello. Man, Courage is helping so much. In multiplayer? Yeah, I do. I think that's why they released this DLC was testing either how the reception in multiplayer is in general or PvP and also to maybe test like netcode and stuff like that. Their ability to program the sort of cross plays. Not really cross play, you know what I mean? Waiting for the same run, but you also have to death flow in that in chat every hour. And if you die in chat, it causes the death. Done, you're able to completely stress heal. That would be awesome. That's the goal. If he stops critting long enough that we can worry about stress healing instead, then it's possible. She's almost there. Twenty-seven. I think we're gonna go past thirty. Looks like it. Unless he just gets a bunch of crits or something. This is just gonna bellow. He really wants to get the courageous one, the heart attack. It's not what I would have used. Her paranoid made her do that. I really wanted to stun the Houndmaster there. It's crazy this team, you love it. 41 might be doable with this, yeah. A lot better when you first release. You balance out the classes. taken for me to complete the run 14 voodoo dolls <laughs> voodoo dolls man you're ready for the flash so she might heart attack which is really unfortunate did he crit did not crit oh uh, no he did crit he did crit inspiration and improvement. 14 voodoo dolls. Staying so low stress, yeah. She has stress resist, and she also has stress resist from her move. So, yeah, she does have minus 15 from a trinket, and then whatever she has for her move. So he's going back to trying to stress the Vestal. Some really character, too. Now it's your first time. Summoner is really fun. Uh, it's just hard to get started with it. But if you're not doing like only summons, then it's not too, too bad to get there. Stress the seems. Ooh, bad crit. Ah, uh, he resisted. 60% chance to stun, but he resisted. Guy surrendering because he doesn't know. <sighs> Looks like we'll at least get to 30. We could get some unlucky hits here. 17 is good for us. Does get him to death's door. Summer whips and sentries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. No, there's no like uh, grammar or speech Nazism here. I have to deal with that in my day to day life, my other work, so. She has a 12 heal over time at the moment. Okay. Uh. 
But yeah, I knew what you meant. Centuries, yeah. Yeah, it was a decent move back. I kind of... Now we can't do the AoE heal over time. Unfortunate. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. They have a, if she refuses this healing, they have a chance. Victor, five gift subs. Thank you, Victor. To Lucas for the third month. Uh, Church Ofer for their second month. Raz for the first. Zeo Fate for their sixth. And Jet Monkey for their first. Victor, I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, Victor. Much love to Victor for the support. How's it going, Bard? How's it going, Bard? Just damage a game while you stress it out in real life. Fair trade. <laughs> I do clocks. Of skill and purpose. Take all the love. Thank you, Victor. Appreciate it, man. Helps out a ton. Man, Conquer Remastered. Uh, I want to play it. Um, Phelan gifted me the pre-order for it like a month or two ago. So I would be happy to play it. I don't remember when. what date is it actually finally released. Round 29. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Do I want to move her back? She can heal herself for... Uh, yeah, we'll, we will. We need to get our AoE healing going. Hey, Lost. How's it going, Lost? It's been late. What's the win condition? We don't have one. We're seeing how many rounds we can survive. We're trying to survive round 41. So, and we're going to lose a lot along the way. Ooh, bad crit. Here we go. Another affliction removed. <laughs> we went from having three afflictions to one. They need to get my vessel to death's door and then have her refuse healing. That's the, they can kill her if that happens. Oh, they let him get to, why? That's good for us, it's very good. But the bad, well, maybe not, because now he'll go back into stunning. Manifest. Pay your opponent more for that now. You should see the other guy reacting. Yeah. She accepted it, good. Crazy challenges, seeing ridiculous things we can do. <laughs> if I get four virtues, I can win, especially if they're courageous. Could you imagine four courageous? We would heal 32 AOE stress every turn. <laughs> Uh-oh. They have a chance to kill her. Uh, our heal over time is not as much as the bleed. Uh, it didn't crit either, so... This is their one chance. Round 30, they get their first chance at a death blow. Vulnerability Hex. He's not doing it! Oh, he's using Crush, okay. I would use Vulnerability Hex there, but... They get another shot. Gar, probably, and you can Stress Heal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Maybe in place of the Antiquarian. Please, please, just survive this one hit. He has a 40% chance to kill her. 40% chance. To survive, I need to get to round 40. No! Oh, he survived! No, heart attack. I forgot how much freaking stress that does. Well, the good news is we have no afflictions anymore. We don't have any afflictions anymore. <laughs> But now he can start stun locking. We need to move her back. It's a revive move. There is not. We need her in the back so she can just stress heal every round again. For most rounds, I guess I should say. Back now. Sorry, that was just a warning shot. Wasn't to deal damage. This guy's probably so done. <laughs> You can remove afflictions? Yes. In both the campaign and in PvP, if you get your stress back down to zero, 
the affliction falls off. Well, 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 it would appear the buffoon is flummoxed. 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 How'd your uh, Man at Arms Dark Souls go, by the way, Lost? That's right, Lost. I lurk at your stream sometimes, even when it's on YouTube. Next level support. See, here's the problem now. He has an extra action than us, so he's going to slowly whittle us down. <clears throat> I can use smoke screen. And three. counter. <laughs> 32. 32. Man. Claw is great one-handed with a heavy attack. Yeah! <laughs> it's not courageous or stalwart. But now we have two virtues. Unleash it. Come on, just nine more rounds. Can we do it? Cycling has a message for you. Oh, he's going back to transform, so no more stun. He's just going for stress again. Interesting. Oh, he's trying to make it so our uh, antiquarian can't heal, I suppose. Unfortunately, the message isn't Twitch appropriate. <laughs> he has a chance to kill her. He could hounds rush her to death's door and then he gets a crush. While well, she dodges. God, we might can get there. It's gonna be really hard, but round 32 bulwark, I know. <laughs> Thinking of that because the affliction? Oh, maybe, yeah. I didn't, I wasn't looking at that. I know he's just gonna be able to rake, but that's okay. And he can even just break it if he wanted. At least I'm going to say. Can we get there? God, I hope we can. I might have left. If I wasn't streaming and I was him, I would have probably just left. Eventually, he has to like go to work or dinner or use the bathroom, something. Not me, I got my catheter in, I'm at work. No. <laughs> Dodge. Seven more, yeah, that's what I really wanna get to. That's what I really wanna get to. No. Once round ever. Turns fast now through players and less people to focus heal stress. It's true. Team ever. More trolling than stress teams. <laughs> You're based on strike characters? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. God, if he gets courageous, we really want him to get courageous. Leg bag's the best. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah! He hasn't had to heal this entire game. <laughs> 34 rounds of no healing. This is where he's at. Uh-oh, he's going back to stunning. That's the worst thing for us. So that'll put us down to two actions for rounds. So he gets two more actions. We get to go first and next rounds. He's crit so many times that. It's kind of insane. What's the crit chance on it? Crit chance nine. He has a 13% chance to crit with that move. He's crit with it probably 50% of the more time. More dust, more ashes, more disappointment. He can just stun lock us, though. Like, we have so little stun resist, he can stun whoever he wants every round. <laughs> Their base in this mode is... 9? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. One and four, so he still is getting lucky. Oh, he resisted both of those debuffs. It's unfortunate. Six more rounds. Come on, guy. Come on. Don't you want to see what happens? Why are you trying to win? Let's just see this together. Let's experience something that neither of us have. gonna stun that right off but can we get a draw yeah that's what we're looking for oh my god he healed 30 and a bleed oh he's going for the uh <sighs> musketeer now um What virtue did she get? Powerful. I really wanted Courageous or Stalwart or something like that, but six stall team in a row and he's already hit turn 50 with half of them. <laughs> we have two virtues. And one that's nothing. He did have an affliction, but we got rid of it. So we go back to Hound's Harry, maybe? For a bit, putting the finishing touches on your runway. Going to issue all flash after a warm up with Skeletron. Black Victor. We might do it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Is he actually going to heal himself? He's got to know that we have no damage moves at this point. Like, he's healing himself, though. Yeah, one. Get a bleed. Aww. Aww. Such a ridiculous thing. 37! We've had three afflictions during this run. In this battle already. Come on, guy. Don't you want to see what happens? No! 
Why? Why would you want us to hard attack? Come on. Be cool, man. Oh, the 85% didn't hit any of us. We got no stress healing. This cold just doesn't have pool, no. That sucks. We rolled three 15 percents in a row. It's really bad for us. Because Virtue doesn't matter in this as far as heart attack goes. It works the same way. Not sure are we about 41? We don't know. That's why we're trying to get there. Crush is really good on our Crusader. That's what we want to see on him. He's probably going to try to get her to death's door. That's what I would do. Let's see. Okay. Interesting decision. Uh, he's probably going to stun our Crusader. He might stun our Antiquarian instead because he, he doesn't want us to get that AoE heal. But I really hope he doesn't go after a Crusader. 8% chance to miss. Most people have Bleed Resist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably the, the one that we wanted them to do. All things considered. Then Dweller, welcome in. Crime Fridge. Thank you for being here. Come on, man. Three more rounds. We just got to see what happens. Stop using this stuff. Just go into a pacifist team like we, like we are doing. Love, not hates. And all those other cliche phrases or whatever. Man, if we lose right before that, I'm gonna get, it's gonna be so annoying. Come on, don't you wanna see? Don't you wanna see? Can you even kill me that fast? Maybe. Maybe. Fastest run is great show. Two more rounds. Well, three kind of. Four heroes decide, hey man, we're coasting this whole butcher circus. It's, uh, no. <laughs> he is super trying to win. I mean, I guess that's what to do, though. Can't completely fault him for it. <sighs> I'm gonna go. He. Dantorian's probably dead. So I have to go with what helps these two the best at this point. Opponent, stop trying to win. I know. In the silence of the violence, that's right. Well, pretty good chance that she's dead now. Pretty good chance. Stunning was the way to win. Well, he's stunned for that. He, he's done different things. He's stunned for half the game and didn't kill us. Like 20 rounds, he was just stunning. God, he, he could win maybe before 41. I really want to get to 41. I did an iron welcome in. You got it with the Crusader. It just depends how the stuns go. But I think so. Well, I, yeah, for sure now we're at 40. What happens around 41? We've been told that you get a tie. But I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what this guy thinks. I really hope he comes to the stream afterwards. I was here. We're going the distance. We're not going for speed.
These stress teams that usually went on like turn six, we're taking them to 41. We're doing science. Should I see if there was a stream of this game? No such luck. Oh. Oof. Get on with it. Somebody might thought, yeah. Forty-one! We did it! <laughs> Stalemate, the crowd decides. Uh he won. Sun crit, weird. Mop the blood and collect the we did it! We made it 41. You must so I wonder what happens if you get to 41 with all four people alive. It looked like they chose them because they had more people alive. Who has more people alive? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. The rumors are true. Huh. So what can we do to make all four people live to 41? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.